I, uh, today I wanted to talk about The Mummy, which is the Tom Cruise film. It's the reboot of The Mummy franchise, so to speak, after the two or three Brendan Fraser movies they had a while back. And this is also uh, Universal's attempt to restart their whole big monster universe thing. You know, they're calling it the Dark Universe. You know, they because they, they had something similar way back in, like, you know, the 1940s and the 1950s where they would have Frankenstein and Dracula and the Wolfman and the Invisible Man and all those, all those universal monsters, they would, you know, meet up occasionally and whatnot. So, I would say I was kind of looking forward to The Mummy. I really wanted to see what they were going to do. Like, the mummy itself isn't a character I was, I was ever interested in, or a, or a movie I was ever interested in that much, but I knew that they were doing this whole universe thing, and that this would lead to other characters that I was more interested in, you know. I, I, I've always been more interested in Frankenstein, or Dr. Jack, Mr. Hyde, or, you know, Van Helsing. I always liked the, uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen type stuff that they did. I, I think they're making a... I think they're trying to make a TV show of that. Or, I don't know, but... So... I, I really watched The Mummy just to kind of see where they were going. Well, where they were gonna go with all this, you know... Because it, 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 it is supposed to be their beginning of this whole franchise, but I think that, uh, that Dracula Untold movie they had with Luke Evans as Dracula, that was supposed to be their, like, starting point, and then that didn't do good at all, so they decided to start over with Mummy, and I don't know if they tried to start it I don't know about I, Frankenstein with Aaron Eckhart. I don't know if that was if that was their attempt too. It was also the uh, Victor Frankenstein movie with James McAvoy, but I don't think that was actually Universal that did that one. So with the Mummy now, they want to start. They want to start this up. They want to see where they can go and. I'll, I'll say about The Mummy, I don't think it was as bad as some people might be saying. It definitely doesn't bring anything new or exciting to the table. I mean, I, I think the biggest fault of the movie almost is that it's kind of trying to be like the Brendan Fraser movies instead of maybe doing its own thing and going and going forward from there although the book of the dead is in this movie too so it's still kind of apparently it it is canon with the other mo mummy movies which i don't know how that'll ever connect cuz those take place in like the 1920s i think the the Brendan Fraser ones but Brendan Fraser could do with a good, uh, with another big movie role. I feel like he, I feel like he needs that now. But it, it, it it's kind of tough to say. But I don't, I don't think it was that bad as people were saying. Yeah, Tom Cruise was. Tom Cruise was okay in it, I guess. I really liked, I really liked Jake Johnson's stuff, and what they did with his character. I thought it was interesting. But then, they kind of went back on that towards the end, kind of reverted backwards without spoiling too much, which it's been out. I think it might actually be out of theaters now, but. 
they kind of reverted back on what they do to his character. I thought maybe that could have been interesting going forward with 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 his character in future movies if he was that. And really all this movie did was leave me with more questions about what they do in the future of this universe that they're building if they do continue which I really hope that they do continue making these movies because I really I really want to see more of this I like I said the mummy isn't the mummy isn't the character that I'm looking forward to seeing you know I'm looking forward to seeing these other characters and we did get to see a little of uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde which I thought was very well done opposed to doing the whole you know CGI monster thing like they did in the uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen starring Sean Connery where Mr. Hyde was just a big monster which I, I guess you'd say that it worked for that movie but I think what they did with Russell Crowe and Dr. Jekyll and this worked but I'm really all I'm really just interested in everything going forward because you assume that these characters connect somehow you know like the characters of Dracula and Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein and Visible Man, the Mummy, Wolfman all these characters they want to do how are they how are they connecting together? Because you imagine it's always, you know, some type of Avengers scenario, because that's what everyone wants to do now. They want to build this Avengers-esque thing and have all these people come together. But do they come together? To f are all these monsters coming together to fight some bigger, you know, eviler monster? What would that be? Or... Or are the monsters coming together to do bad things and then it'll be like humans trying to stop the band of evil monsters because we did also meet the shield-esque thing that they had I don't remember what it was called it starts with the P but Russell Crowe's running it you know Dr. Jekyll I mean you know how that'll play up play into but then I don't know uh, the movie wasn't like I said it was nothing special M maybe not as bad as some people are saying I think it was interesting you know some of the action stuff was good and I liked the uh, I liked the plane I like the plane sequences when they're crashing and whatnot. I thought some of the curse stuff was was a little annoying towards the end of it when he, he's like having visions and stuff. I don't know. I I wonder what happens with Tom Cruise's character going forward too. Because, you know, without spoiling anything, the way they leave his character off, how he is now, I don't really know how that will play into future movies, if they even make future movies. For all I know, this could be completely meaningless, and none of this matters because they're not going to make any of these movies, but I feel like... I feel like we're prob I feel like we're probably gonna see more of this though, because they got they got Bride of Frankenstein coming up with uh Javier Bardem as Frankenstein's monster. Well not Frankenstein, remember, it's Frankenstein's monster. It'd be interesting to see who they cast as the actual Dr. Victor Frankenstein, if they even bother having that character. Which, I mean, since it's the Bride of Frankenstein, I guess all you would really need is Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. But, 
I'd be kind of disappointed if Victor Frankenstein wasn't in the Bride of Frankenstein movie because I like the I like the uh, Victor Frankenstein character. I think it's interesting. You know, I enjoy seeing different interpretations of of his character. And it's like what he was trying to accomplish, his motivations, his reasonings. It is a it, it is a character that I like. Even I might not I might not talk about me liking that character. That doesn't mean I don't you know. But I wonder if this could just all be kinda of like with what I'm saying with Power Rangers. You know, that they're that it's all gonna be pointless and they're not gonna make a Power Rangers too. I, I still don't know about that. You know and this gets me thinking with like the Venom stuff coming up. I just kind of I hope these movies are good. I'm getting like kinda of sick of bad movies and movies that we're looking forward to and hoping are gonna be good and then they just, they just just let us down. Like the Fantastic Four movie that Josh Trank did. I was I was hoping that movie was gonna be good and you know, it let me down and the last the two amazing Spider Man movies weren't that good. The It just seems I, I want movies to be good. I want to like I want to like these movies. I want them to be good cuz if they're good we get more good movies. And we look at good movies released this year like like Logan for example. This a good movie like Logan opens the door to other good movies being made like e even if you're a fan of DC or if you're a fan of Marvel if DC isn't doing good that affects the way Marvel movies might be made because Marvel might see this as a sign that they're not really they're not really liking this type of stuff that they're doing you know like look at Wonder Woman, the success that Wonder Woman had, that that helps out the new Captain Marvel movie very much, even though the even though they're not connected. All the good faith that people had with a female driven superhero movie such as Wonder Woman, that's gonna extend over to when they start, you know, uh marketing the new Captain Marvel movie. That's gonna help it a lot. So, you know, I want all these movies to be good, and I hope they're good, and you know, I'm, I like Venom as a character a lot. I'm really looking forward to that movie. I hope it's good so we can start seeing more of this stuff. And it really, it, you hear people saying all the time about how they want, like, certain properties to go back to Marvel, like they want X-Men to go back to Marvel and the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man, but if if they did that, that limits what we can get. Cause Marvel can only do so much, they can only make so many movies a year, and if Marvel had the rights to X-Men, we would have never gotten these good X-Men movies that they have made, like Days of Future Past and Logan and Deadpool. Marvel's. N I don't see Marvel making an R-rated superhero movie in a long time. Because remember, this is Disney. That's like it's like expecting an R-rated Star Wars movie. I don't see, I don't see those happening. So. It's basically why we don't have monopolies. I would think. If one studio has all these properties, then. We're not getting enough stuff, enough variety. And so they're they're talking about doing another Fantastic Four. I mean they made like four Fantastic Four movies and none of them have been that very good, but 
I guess they're trying to make it a little bit more like Incredibles, because that was the closest thing to a good Fantastic Four movie we've had. But So, looking back to it now, I think I might have gotten a little sidetracked. Talking about The Mummy. And uh, whether I liked it or not. I guess, uh, long story short, it was okay. <laughs>